Good morning, YouTube. This is man all the way, George Pace, aka the Emperor Female Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, I was up a while ago this morning and just doing a little social media um, surfing, and I was on this site on Twitter called Hello Hot Beef. Now it's a site dedicated to fans of female of uh, females uh, with muscle, and on there was a survey. That was posted by a young uh, up-and-coming uh, amateur physique competitor by the name of Shannon Seeley. Now, um, Shannon, she has a pretty uh, uh, impressive physique, and she's been competing for a while. She's a young wife and mother, and um, she has a question to ask you folks, and she's wondering: should she get fake boobs or should she not? Well, that's the debate. That's you know, that's really should be her decision, but. She's asking you, should she? But uh, I personally think she shouldn't. You know, uh, I've, 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 this is a question I've asked sometimes with some um, competitors if they should or should not. But you know, to me personally, it might ruin your physique. I've have heard some few of people said that you know they think that getting breast implants ruins their physique, but others it feels it you know helps them in judging. Now, a while back ago, I did an interview with Nancy Lewis. And she said that um, she was told that, you know, by judges that if she had fixed her, her, her uh, space in her teeth and got fake boobs, she would have done better her, in, her, um, uh, in her when she was competing. And I'm um, also when I did a interview with um, uh, Tisha Tiger Street Thomas that she would also have done better if she had got fake boobs, but she decided not to. It's a tough decision to make, you know, and it's a preference that is you know, it's for any woman to make to do, um, go in and have surgery and to have a, a fake uh, object put under your skin. But I think Shannon has a beautiful physique. And um, this is a story about her a little bit, what I know about her. She got into the um, into bodybuilding by way of of, uh, of eating disorder. She was bulimic. And um, that's often that happens with a lot of, of Young women who get into this, into this uh, sport by one way or another, you know, either you're overweight, underweight, and she found her niche. Shannon's a young woman; she's a wife and mother, and she still and she still found her way in the sport. She competed um, last year, but you know she didn't make; she was able to make enough uh, points to compete at the Olympia. As you know, the current um, Miss Olympia, a uh, physique competitor, a uh, physique champion. Um, Sarah Vegas doesn't have breast implants, and neither do the current um, uh, Miss Olympia bodybuilding champion, um, Andrew Shaw. But getting breast implants is a decision that you have to make yourself, Sarah. You shouldn't ask strangers. Right now, the voting is pretty much uh, against her getting breast implants. There are guys out there who love women with natural, pure um, pecs. Personally, I do too. I think it's just, you know, it's beautiful. A beautiful natural chest is, is just amazing. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes there's some women who have amazing fake implants. You know, you know, you got your uh, Alicia Youngs and some others, but sometimes it doesn't always help you. There's been some bodybuilders who have said that the getting the breast implants have hurt them. But there's been situations where, you know, like uh, many years ago, Denise Messino, she had had situations where she had a, a wardrobe malfunctions where her breast popped out by accident. Or, you know, but this is a decision you have to truly make yourself. Is this for you? Do you really want to get breast implants? You shouldn't have to ask strangers. But I think your physique is beautiful as it is. You have a beautiful physique. You're still young. You know, like I said, like like I said before, most women in bodybuilding don't hit their muscle maturity till about their thirties. I think you're still in your uh, late twenties, early thirties. And I think I love your chest. I, I honestly do. But like I said, it's just up to you what you really want to do with your life, with your body. It's your life, your body. You shouldn't have to ask anybody to make a decision for you that you feel like you need to make your own. But like I said, this is just, you know, really a more of a personal choice. Is it for, you know, for aesthetic regions to, you know, you know, to win better shows? Or is it for more for your personal look? Well, you know, it's all it's all up to the person that you want to be. You know, a better competitor, 
This is a better person. Like I said, Shannon, you have a great body, a great physique. You still have a great future in the sport. You know, the choice is up to you. You need you don't need a, a poll to ask people should you get breast implants or not. Anyway, uh, I'm going to post the uh, hot beef um, um, link. And also, I'm going to post her Twitter handle and also her rest of her social media. And also tell her, you know, if you feel like, she, you know, you can may maybe get her not to do it. That's cool. If she wants to do it on her own, that's fine. You know, she's an adult. That's her choice. But, you know, she didn't need to ask us. Anyway, I think she has an amazing body, a great physique. She still has a great future in the sport. Big, like I say, physique is a, is a is a kind of growing on me. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of great professional women in the, in the division. Maybe someday, if she's a size, she might go up to bodybuilder. Yeah. Anyway, Yishi Man, aka the uh, Emperor of Bodybuilding Talk, women's female bodybuilding talk. Like, don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.